feels like rendezvous You know what to do Keep your love for me only I get high on you Welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter. It is officially Easter Sunday when I'm filming this. You guys probably won't see this. I'm not sure if I'll put this up tomorrow or if the vlog will go up first, but either way, you won't be seeing this on Easter. But I figured I would still come on here and show you guys like my Easter outfit and also just like a quick little get ready with me, a little chit chat. Um, so I'm just moisturizing my face with the Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. My skin is super dry. I have my window open, sorry. You can hear the outside, like the train going by right now. <laughs> so I did an Instagram live last night, which was so much fun. If you guys joined me, thank you, hello. That was so much fun. I had a little bit of wine and my brother was there. I was supposed to go out last night and then my plans got canceled like last minute, but I was already ready. Like I had already done my makeup and I was already like ready. So I was like, oh, let's go Instagram live. I mean, I put like comfy clothes on, but I was like, let's go do an Instagram live. <laughs> it was fun though. This is a no pore blum primer by Touch Insole. Right? Yeah. My period should be coming anytime soon. So I have quite the hormonal acne going on right now but um yeah so I figured I would just come on here quick and do like a little get ready with me this is like when you know you have to get a new foundation like it's like I'm dipping a brush in here to get product out um this is the Maybelline dream set in liquid I'm mixing these this one and then also the L'Oreal infallible because the L'Oreal one is a little bit too light and this one's a little bit too dark so I'm just like putting this all over and then taking the L'Oreal infallible one on the sponge and like kind of mixing them there who oh, no, knows that's what I've been doing lately this is the L'Oreal infallible I've been using it is in the color 420 um true beige I've been using my real technique sponge I literally do like a couple pumps there and then literally start mixing on my face I forgot how much I like this sponge. I feel like it, because of this flap piece right here, like I feel like it is quicker and the product gets blended in a little bit nicer. Not a little bit nicer, just quicker and like, I don't know, I'm just liking this sponge. This pimple on my chin is huge and painful, love that. <laughs> I wanted to spray tan last night, well not spray tan, self tan, with my Saint Tropez um, sunless tanner and I didn't go to bed till 3.30 and I was not trying to like do that last night but I did, um, I switched all my bedding over to like a white bedding set so I did not want to like self tan and get that all over. The way I usually self tan is like I do it at night and then um sleep with it on and then when I wake up in the morning I just like rinse it off and shower and that's how I usually do it I was should you know if I was smart I would have done it yesterday when I was baking the cake I could have been baking my skin baking my cake you know <laughs> but I didn't think about it I've really really been loving this CC um under eye corrector from Tarte like loving it if you have dark circles and you haven't tried it yet try it I really like it it just makes such a difference like sometimes when I only wear concealer and I don't color correct the darkness will kind of peek through throughout the day like underneath the concealer and then with this it really doesn't peek through because you have like a double layer of protection against the darkness <laughs> I'm so upset it's like so gloomy out today I really was hoping it was gonna be nice and sunny I'm wearing like a very spring outfit so do you remember that um skirt from wild fable that i tried on in my last target into the dressing room it was like a brown suede one oh, i thought you could see it with the buttons so i was at target yesterday and it was on clearance and i was like this could be really cute um so i ended up buying it even though i was like this is too short like fuck it i don't care if it's that short this is a l'oreal infallible concealer i really like this concealer as well I am gonna mix a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape with it because I just feel like I have to because like, I don't know. <laughs> I just do. 
I always put a lot of concealer on. I used to do this a lot a little while ago when I would just kind of like let the concealer almost dry a little bit on my under eyes before I went to blend it out. I feel like you get the most amount of coverage that way. So I'll like do this first, wherever else I put highlight, so my chin, my forehead, and then I'll like do my under eyes, but I'll even let them sit there for a little bit longer. So it just makes a difference. I don't know. Has anyone else tried that where you just like let your concealer sit for a second and then you go to blend it out? All right, I'm gonna start blending it out now. You can even wait longer if you want to. I just don't have the time. And it starts to like, you know, become one with your skin. It, it like meshes with the temperature of your skin. I don't know, it's really cool. Almost like when you bake, how that messes, how that like interacts with the temperature in your skin and that's how you get that like baking aspect. I found my eyebrow brush, guys. I remember my last video, I like could not find my eyebrow brush, but I found it, thank the gods. Because I was so sad. I cannot even look at myself, <laughs> I look so crazy. I always get makeup all over myself, cool. Okay. Bronzer, I'm just gonna use the Cover FX bronzer. I really like this palette. Honestly, I've been using the blush and the bronzer almost every single day. From this palette, it's the, I don't know if they sell this separately, if it was just in BoxyCharm, but, it's called the Perfector Face Palette in the shade Light Medium. I really like it though. I have to fix my hair before I go because some of my hair looks crazy. All right, blush, I'm going to do Bare Minerals, but first coffee. Seriously love these Gen Nude blushes from Bare Minerals. I got mine at TJ Maxx. They're really good. I love them so much. I cannot say enough good things about them. But I've been mixing this with the blush from the Cover FX palette, which is like a more like pinkier blush. I've been mixing the two. I freaking love blush. My God, I don't know. I just love it so much. I always get a little heavy handed, but you know, who cares? So I was watching some of my old videos from like the summer and like, I don't know. I could just, it's such a crazy difference. Like I feel like I could just see how like sad I was. Not even sad, but like, I just felt like my light was dimmed, if that makes sense. Like I was just was not in a good place. But I love the difference. Like it's so crazy. I'm gonna put some of this Bare Minerals blush in my crease. Oh, did I set my eyelids with powder? I don't even know, let me set them again. I love the way blush looks in the crease. It literally just ties your whole entire look together so effortlessly. Like, it just brings like a certain warmth to the face. I don't know, it's insane. I know my eyelashes look crazy right now. I have to brush them. Yesterday I did this little like baby wing with eyeshadow. It was really pretty. I'm just debating if I should do it again or not. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's literally like the easiest thing. I just do it with eyeshadow and like a little flat brush like that. I'm just using Activist by Tarte. It's this like brown color. And I like stamp my brush in there and then stamp some of it off. And then, let me see. I don't know if I'll even be in focus when I zoom you in, but let's try. And then, just draw a little line. See, it's just like a baby little wing, but I just ruined this side because that's what happens. Like I can only ever get one side. So now I'm gonna take some powder and erase it. And take some more like skin tone powder and just soften it. Hey. 
Okay, and now for lips, I'm going to use, like literally I've used all Bare Minerals products and I'm about to use another Bare, Bare Minerals product. I love this Bare Minerals lipstick in the shade Icon. It's literally just the Bare Minerals like lipsticks in the shade Icon. It's so cute. The only thing is it doesn't last as long as like the Kat Von D ones, but I like the color of this. It's like a good color. And the actual lipstick smells like brownie batter. Like I want to eat it. It smells so good. I'm going to line my lips with Whirl Lip Liner if I can find it because it's so small. Let's see. Look at this. I think it's time for a new one. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the color Lace Detail right in the center. It doesn't do much. It just gives a little highlight the lip okay and now we're gonna do some highlights um, another product that I got from boxycharm is the artist couture diamond glow powder in the shade summer haze it's really really pretty it's a little bit glittery so I don't use this as like my main highlight but I'll use it for like a pop for my main highlight I'm gonna use Mac soft and gentle I've been obsessed with this lately again it's just gorgeous um, and I'll use like this Sonia Kashuk brush. And see, it's a little bit more um, subdued than the other one here. But it's just like a nice little glow. I'll take it on a smaller brush for my nose. And then I will use the Artist Couture Powder with this brush, which is from Crown, I think it's from Crown Royal, I don't know. But, but this is like, poppin'. Like, this is like, wow, wet, glowy highlight. So, I just like to dust that a little bit, just to give a little pop. And then I'll take it on the smaller brush for my nose, only like the smallest amount because it's super intense. This is the makeup look. I'm gonna go throw my clothes on and I will show you my outfit. Okay guys, this is what I'm wearing today. This skirt, well actually everything is from Target. This is that Wild Fable skirt that I thought was too short, but I don't think it's that short anymore. I mean, it's short, but it's not like too short, you know? So yeah, this is from Wild Fable. The top is also from Wild Fable. The top is like kind of 90s vibes. I think it's really cute though. It's like very 90s. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cute outfit. I just wish I had a little bit of a tan, but soon enough. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. If you guys enjoy these kinds of videos where I share with you my outfit, let me know in the comment section down below. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.